Uh, and beamed for tens of people to and see. And we're live. Beamed for tens of people. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello. We, are, we are here live again. Yes. For your weekly Thursday Night Live. Cause for your viewing pleasure. I don't know if it's really pleasurable to view us, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hello. So... Hello, hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Kilpatrick. I knew a guy named Kilpatrick when I was mm. a kid. I knew a Fitzpatrick. He was my I knew roommate a Fitzpatrick in as tech well. school. How is Meg and Ash? Good. Uh, both are doing very well. Meg is giving Ash a bath and then going to attempt to put him to sleep. We'll see how or that goes. Put him to bed. I guess putting him to sleep is kind of like a... Oh, there's night, a, night. There's a we'll there. <laughs> We're doing the uh, little lav mics just in case, uh, trying to give that a shot, see yeah. if that works out better. Hopefully, cancels out some of the background noise. So hopefully, and we want this to be a classy podcast with a K. Yeah, classy <laughs> with a K. I've run into a lot of Fitzpatrick's too. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know why. I wonder what this guy. What's the background of Fitzpatrick? Is that like Scottish? Scottish or Irish? I don't know. He could it's drink a lot. Scottish. So maybe one of the two. Both I mean, of those can drink a lot. Yeah. See, or maybe, yeah, I don't know if it's Irish or Scottish. Whatever it is. I don't know. It's definitely, it's kind of like Anderson, right? Like Anderson is like son of Ander. So it's like. Is that what it is? Yeah. Do you think Helm is because my ancestors were on the helm of a ship a lot? Like I would they were not be captains? surprised. Totally would not be surprised. Maybe I have uh, captain's blood in me. Maybe I'm a pirate. Arr. Arr. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well. We have compelling topics to oh, talk yeah, about. Oh, yeah. That was stuff that you guys <laughs> never thought we'd talk about on this. You know, especially on a car channel. We're like, ooh, Fitzpatrick. Yeah, well, piracy. Kind of go. Like, I mean, road pirates. Stuff like that. Uh, what happened... Uh, what's up with my 458 computers? Don't know yet. Still have not fixed that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of fixes itself and it comes and goes. Its, yeah, I'm gonna probably have Josh take a look at it because I don't know what's up. Uh, 599 update. Um, Everything but the computers is ready. Yeah, just waiting on the computers. Uh, should hopefully have that soon. We're waiting on some guy in England. Yeah, Trev360 is a good guy. He knows his shit. Yeah, Adam, you need a braided beard to be a pirate. <laughs> Arr. And a monocle thing. You know, like <laughs> eye the, patch? Eye patch. You know why they wore eye patches, right? No. Is so that if they had to go down into the dark parts of the show. Oh, he had an eye that was yeah. already adjusted. They did it on Myth Mythbusters. I remember hearing that, yeah. 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 Oh, that darn, darn computer. Yeah. Mustache pirate. I don't understand why my computers were screwing up. Because but. Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari. It yeah. was unhappy with you. Oh, hey. We have a... I'm not going to like say this is in stone yet because it's not. But we may have a gracious benefactor. So, like, okay. We'll take a step back. Uh, you guys saw the videos of the tour. Hopefully all of you watched the tour, right? You watched the tour. There's no way y'all are. What yeah, the low know, right? The counts. low view counts. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, we don't do the tour to get views. We do the tour because it's fun. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so did the tour and basically did not make money on it for a second year in a row. So I kind of said, you know, hey, from a business perspective, we're done. We're not doing the tour. I'm not doing these events anymore. I've done the tour twice. I did the influencer invasion. Uh, I think it's pretty much all the things I've hosted and uh, exactly zero of these have netted me money, <laughs> right? So I was like, all right, we're done with that. And while we were on the tour, everyone was like, oh, you need to do this again. I'm like, nope, we're not making money. I'm not gonna do it again. Well, we may have a gracious benefactor who Wants to front some money. He wants to front some money to help us potentially do it again. And so I kind of said, like, that would be the only way I'd do it is if someone else was willing to take on the financial risk. Because, like, I can't keep doing that. So, yeah, we'll 
We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We're so, exploring possibilities. If you had asked me this morning, I would say, oh, there's no way in hell we're ever doing the tour of Colorado again. It's done. And now I'm kind of like, maybe we're going to do it again. So who knows? Because a lot of people, a ton of these people are like, Tyler knows who this is. Yeah, I just got off the phone with that gracious benefactor. <laughs> do it. Yeah, right. So, I mean, that's the trick, right? We, we need, like, if we're going to do it again, we need to have people commit early because... It's a lot of planning, and I have to, like, just to give you guys rough numbers, like, we spent over $40,000 on this thing, right? Like, and that money, a huge chunk of that money came out of my pocket, my personal pocket, not the business pocket, my personal pocket, in order to front the money for the hotels and whatever and blah, blah, blah. So, like, yeah, I don't want to take that risk again. <laughs> But there's a possibility it, it lives on. And we, we acknowledge the fact that maybe some of it was uh, us not advertising it as well as we should have and getting the word yeah, out there. Yeah, we definitely could have advertised it better. And so I think lessons learned there, we would try and do it again. How many participants do you need to be profitable? It depends. Um, so like this year, if I so we had six people paying, paying people, uh, and we had nine slots. If I had gotten to... Seven, we probably would have been broke even. Eight, we probably would have maybe had a slight profit. And by nine, we would have had a little profit. Um, the, the problem is, like, some of the costs are fixed no matter how many people we have. So, like, for example, if we do the castle again, the castle, we rented the entire castle. And they want that money up front. And so you have to pay it up front whether you get all nine rooms reserved or six rooms reserved. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the uh, uh, condominiums. The condominiums, it's a flat fee. It doesn't matter how many people you have. So, um, Pacific Northwest ride, Washington to California, great scenery. The downside I mean, to that is, is the distance. The distance. Because I agree with you 100%. Yeah, it would I've be driven glorious. those roads. Although the downside is you're in California. Uh, Loper and Fred didn't screw us because they never committed. Yeah. I mean, they said they were thinking about it. A lot of people said they were thinking about it. Tons of people. Like, and that's, and that's part of the problem, right? Lot, and even right now, lots of people are like, oh, I want to sign up. I want to do it again. Or I shouldn't say again. I want to do it next year. A lot of people have contacted me and said, I want to do it next year. When's the next year's dates? The problem is we had the same thing last time. And a ton of these people, in fact, none of the people that said they wanted to do it, did it. Except for Richard. Richard was the only repeat, but like a lot of people said, oh, we want to do it, and then they didn't do it. So it's, trap up it's hard to get people to commit, you know, especially because you're, it's a substantial amount of money. I get it. You know, it's not cheap, but it's, it's a vacation. It's, yeah. a, it's a supercar vacation. It's meant to be a luxury experience. So. Um, Mousetrap said, sorry, issue with PayPal. No money sticker today. Don't worry about it, dude. We don't do this just because oh, you yeah. you donate to us. Don't worry, so. dude. Not a problem. Is the lovely lady Megan here today? Uh, she is downstairs washing Ash, giving him a bath. I'm going to the Ferrari factory in February. Haven't been there. No, but I want to, and I'm jealous. It sounds really fun. Do it earlier and do part of it on Highway 212, the Bear Tooth. I don't know. What, um, well, actually, we did. I did think about possibly doing it one week sooner because there's a big show a car show in telluride the problem is that may not make it possible to stay in telluride because, because the rides or the, the cost would be insane yeah because like we have a relationship with the uh condominiums that we stayed at and they have like a three-day minimum rental policy but they let us do two because, because we're repeat. Re repeat so you know yeah, anyway. Uh, are either of us going to the USGP next week? Yes, both of us. I'm actually working as an intervention marshal for uh, the track, so I will be one of those people that runs out if there's an accident in front of my station. I believe I'll be at uh, turn 17, so the three right-handers by yeah, the, the Texas long, Mullet. sloping one. Yep. So. Otis is passed the F out. <laughs> he should be as much Dude, as they were running around over here. They were romping hard. That was hilarious. We were cracking yeah. up. Man. So. Yeah, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough because we like doing this. Oh, 
because mousetrap is too <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired, mousetrap. Jeez. Wow. That was that was brutal. That's harsh. <laughs> that is harsh. You know what's fascinating? I was looking at that thing and showed the chat revenue on that screen. A full 20 seconds before it popped up over here. <laughs> we just don't know who's going to do it. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, it I saw up. it pop up. I'm like, I haven't seen any money come through. And then that came through. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Anyway, yes, that's hilarious. Whew. Thank you, John, by the way. Sorry, yawning because of baby and lack of sleep. I don't have that problem. I have no kids. <laughs> I sleep like a baby all night, every night, all the way through. <sighs> Yeah, I don't wake up to crying. Admittedly, we've been uh, really fortunate. This week, Ash slept for eight hours, 15 minutes. And then he slept again for six and a half hours last night. So, <laughs> John equals death. <laughs> Stu! What's up, Stu? Stu is here. <laughs> oh, is he talking about, he talking about Adam? Thank God he hasn't reproduced. I'm all right with that. Damn. Do you really want more of these running around right here? That's that's hilarious. Uh, you gonna post any video from the Ferrari versus Porsche shootout? Funny story about that, Sean. <laughs> uh, I went to go edit that video today, and there's no audio. My camera, my super expensive Sony, uh, the microphone jack is broken. So, and this isn't the first time Sony has had issues. Nope. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it fixed or if I'm going to have to buy a new camera. So I'm really, I'm kind of a little bit bummed about that because, you know, it's like, I mean, uh, here's my camera. The, this is what I use all the time. My it's Sony, a paperweight Sony now. now. Well, so the microphone jack right there seems to be intermittently not working. Which is kind of a problem when you're using this for making videos all the time. And in case you're wondering, um, these are three and a half thousand dollars. So. And that's just for the body. That yeah, doesn't yeah. include I, the I lens. I say, here you go. That is three and a half thousand dollars. This is another two thousand dollars. So this is five and a half thousand dollars in my hand. And you guys wonder why I can't make any money on this whole thing. <laughs> because <laughs> stuff like this breaks i've actually dropped this camera multiple times i've broken the screen on it twice and thankfully there's a company in china i'm sure it's the manufacturer of that screen but you could order the part directly from them for like a hundred bucks so i had to take off the screen rewire everything put it back in twice because i'm an idiot and broke my camera twice but you're getting good at it that's what that this means. This little jack right here, I'm not sure that can be fixed by me. I think I need to send it in to get it fixed. So, I wonder if there's a place in town that could do it for like a fraction of the cost. Oh, I, you know, it'd be more than that. It'd be more than if you sent it to Sony. You think it would be more? Yeah, because it's gonna be like they have to pay for retail space and blah blah blah. I don't know. I think you'd yeah. be surprised. Precision Camera would be the only place in town that would probably do it, and I bet you it's a boatload that doesn't hurt to ask i mean it's probably cheaper than a new camera yeah I don't know. ricky says adam if i were married to you i don't think we would have kids either i'm not sure how the physics of that would work anyway yeah it might not work no matter <laughs> what <laughs> adam shooting blanks hey as long as there's no kids involved. what happened to no kids license plate i mean i still have it so that yeah i haven't used that plate in like since I bought the fourth of eight, so like three years. But everybody still thinks I know, they still think I do. It. I'm like, no. I haven't I, had it for a long when time. When I bought the fourth of eight, I just stopped using it. Yeah, the broken mic jack is super common on these Sony's. I, and I've been like really cautious. Like every time we set it down, I always make sure to not set it down on the microphone jack and all that That's stuff. That's why when I had the camera, anytime I wasn't using it, I would actually unplug it yeah, it's not from bad there because I didn't want yep. something to happen. Uh, the other YouTuber got the money shot, Dan. What are you talking about? I impressed the kids when I left. You should have seen the look on their face when I lit up. Oh. Oh, God, Stu. You broke some eardrums. <laughs> I feel sorry for those kids. They probably have bleeding ears now. Their mother's like, I hate Ferraris. <laughs> All because of Stu. Yeah. 
Oh dang, hope I didn't have anything to do with that, Jack, side up always. No, it wasn't you, it's just... So, I actually had an A7 III, and the mic jack broke. And it was like, I just bought it. It wasn't even 30 days old, so I returned it, got another one. The mic jack broke again before 30 days. So I went and Googled it, and like, there's a super common problem with the A7 III. So then I Googled the A9, and they're like, no, the A9 doesn't have that problem. So I'm like, okay, well, I bought the A9. How long ago did you buy this, though? Yeah, it's about a year. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd had this a lot longer than that. No, it's a little over a year. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Think the front end lift is an important option for the 458? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like an end-all, be-all option. If you can get it, great. I don't think it's necessarily, like... A deal breaker not to have it. I would rather have the reverse camera, personally. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Way more. Yeah. You are guaranteed to run into something without a reverse camera. Because if you don't... <coughs> carry. Yeah. If you don't have a reverse camera, you're going to have to put an aftermarket one in, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So, if you own a lot of Sony stuff, I would call them, and they might fix it for free. I've done that. I don't have... I mean, I have two Sony cameras and, like, four lenses... They don't know that. Just say you own all of the Sony things. Yeah, so I probably got a good ten thousand dollars in Sony gear. Yeah. The worst they'll say is no. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna give it a shot because it <laughs> needs to get repaired. The problem is like, it's gonna take him weeks to repair that, and I don't know what I'm gonna do for filming. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's the predicament we have here, folks. Yeah. You can roll out like a donk car. What are you even talking about now? Oh, because you got the front end up <laughs> with the lift. It's Stu. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> Stu does not have a front end. They don't have front end lifts until the 458. That was the first Ferrari to have it's it. It's crazy that it took them that long to do it. Yeah. Yeah. GoPro. I mean, I guess I could buy like a new GoPro 9. The quality is pretty darn good. It's actually really good. I don't know. What number GoPro are they on? Nine? Nine, I think. Or is it ten? I can't remember. Dan, did you have to get a dealer's license plate to do your buying consulting business? Wait, what? Buying consulting business? No? No. Dealer's license? No, because I don't actually, like... We don't do the processing. I don't do any of the paperwork. Yeah. Oh, I just got a ten today. It's impressive. Okay, we're up to 10. Maybe I'll get a GoPro 10. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I could use a new GoPro. I've got GoPro 5s. <laughs> is yeah. that what this is? Yeah, it's a Hero 5. I've got two of them, though. It's got the, they had this full screen on the back on 5s? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I remember when these things first came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Extra batteries are key with the GoPros. They don't last for crap. I don't know. I've seen, like, the image stabilization. It's pretty good. The only thing I don't like is that, like, obviously, if you have a GoPro, you don't have any zoom. That's a problem. Um, and I hate that they have, like, the stupid microphone adapter thingy that you have to get. That thing. Ah, oh, it's so stupid. Like, why can't they just add a... Anyway. Because they need you to buy more stuff, Dan. Oh, warning. Nick Murray channel says GoPro overheat since the 5. Huh. Well, that'd be a problem in Texas. <laughs> yeah, it would. Oh, does Nick Murray film all his on GoPros? I don't huh. know. I don't, I don't really watch his channel regularly. It's like... It's about real cars and you don't like real cars. No, it's about Nick Murray. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have nothing against him. He's a, an interesting <laughs> character. Yeah? Did Rich, Rachel make some glorious desserts... Fo chal today. No. What's with this? He's trying to be cool and hip. Okay. No. No desserts. Although, was it yesterday? Yes. Oh, my God. What yesterday. did she bring yesterday? Dude, we're just sitting there in Austin. She shows up at the door, and she's like, hey, I was making this caramel. Upside down. Upside down. No, it was apple, wasn't it? It wasn't pineapple. Was it? I don't know. Rachel, you're on the thing. 
What did, what did you make us yesterday? And it how was... come you never bring desserts over on Thursdays when I'm here? Because <laughs> she doesn't have to make it for like 20 people. In case but that's what show. she's known for. True, true. No, that that was legit. Like we, Meg and I were just like... Oh, I've like, had one dessert from her and it was ice cream Scott. and like brownies and it was oh amazing. What's up, Scott? Hello, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I can live vicariously through Dan and Meg. If you want to, that's kind of a <laughs> terrible way to live. You can plug the tent to an external battery without the battery in it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Do you know if the nav software can be added to a form that has the message nav system not installed? I don't know. I don't know that. Um, I would think that it's probably missing a module or It's probably something. a module and you probably have to have like a, the dealers do it or something. Yeah. So is the Aston making a comeback? It Apparently. seems like it the past yeah. couple of days. Well, we're not going to give it away too much. I don't care. I guess it. You know what? There's it's like 41 of you right now. All right. <laughs> we're, having, we're having a low turnout night. So we'll tell you guys. Uh, my brother bought an Aston. And then Richard. Richard bought an Aston. So I can't wait to see Richard's. Yeah, no, I saw it. Oh my god. In person? Yeah, he swung by. He lives right by me. No, I he I was told he wasn't in it until Saturday. Well he, he was on a test drive. Oh. He like sends me a message. He's like, Hey, I'm gonna be test driving this Aston. Can you take a look at it? I'm like, Yeah, sure. And then like an hour later, hey, I'm driving, I'm going to swing by, are you home? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I thought like he had it. I was like, why no, does Richard no. keep lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to Richard? <laughs> he didn't like you anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why everyone's suddenly like, let's get the Aston. I will say they are... They're beautiful. They're so pretty. And they sound amazing, too. Yeah. yeah. They're British, so I wouldn't want to own one. <laughs> But, yeah, they are stunning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Let's see. Wow, Dan, all of your buddies are buying new cars. Uh, Loper bought that C8. Has he gotten that yet? Yeah. But it's a regular... But he, it's not a Z06. Why not? Because they don't have those yet. Oh. So he had to buy... The dealership was like, hey, if you buy a regular C8... Will bump you up on the Z06 list. Wow. So he did. Because, you know. <laughs> Just Loper. Things. Loper. He's like, oh, okay, sure. Worst time to buy a car any of these days? It eh, depends. Which Long ones time. of you have new babies? Just you know, him. Cars? No, or, I think he meant like actual babies. I mean, actual babies, I mean. Just him. Me. Only Dan. Yeah, exactly. Who had a Jag F-Type in y'all's road trip? That was Tyler. He's yep, actually... He's in here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. Tyler King. Yeah, he posted uh, uh, 10 posts ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, C8s are kind of becoming like C7s. You see them every day. I mean, it's it's a Chevy. They make a crap load of them. Yeah. And justifiably, it's a great car. Yeah. So I, I, I don't blame anyone. For I want to drive one and see what all the hubbub is about. They're good. I like them. I'm sure Loper Text might. Loper. And yeah. Be like, hey, man. Actually, we do need to text Loper and be like, Loper, we need to do a video on your car. <laughs> yeah. Even what though we've already done it? a C8, we still, it's Loper's. <laughs> Ricky wants... And you know he's going to put an exhaust on it. Oh. Well, if he keeps it. I don't know if he's going to keep it. Even if he doesn't, if he keeps it for more than a week, he's going to put an he's exhaust already... on it. Actually, I need to call him to make sure that he buys exhaust through us. And the, yeah, do it right now. Be like, Loper, we know you're going to modify the car. We know you're going to put exhaust on it. And we know you're going to put wheels on it. So we're going to buy them through us, damn you. <laughs> we'll see what he says. Ricky wants me to get a 458, but I would, but today's pricing is whack. I mean, yeah, it's, they're expensive. Let's see. I hate dealership tricks like that, though. Buy a lower spec to get a better one sooner. Lame. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't get that either. It's kind of stupid how dealerships do that sort of stuff. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. They can do it because people will do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyone else buy a new car this week? <laughs> <laughs> or just I bought a Hot Wheels. Well done. 
The market for those things is crazy right now, too. They're like six bucks? Yeah. Maybe no, seven? <laughs> Y'all do only supercar exhaust, or could you find me a deal on an M2 competition? Depends on the brand. Yeah. If it's a brand we support, yes, we can get it. Email us, sales at normalguysupercar.com. Tell us what exactly it is you're looking mm -hmm. for, if you have one in mind, and uh, we can get you. Yeah, I do think that the 4 for 8 prices are starting to come back to not reality, but like better. I think everything kind of went way too high, and then now we're kind of resetting a little bit. So, so rebuilt title 458, was that the... That might have been... Was that? May have been. <laughs> we may have seen that same car. Yeah. So. Uh, I will auction my 360 tonight, and then I'll get a 4 of 8. Do it, Stu. I encourage this behavior. Uh, Akrapovich, yeah. we could get that. Remus, I, mm, I'll have to double check, but for sure... A pro, a, 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 what? It's Akrapovich, isn't it? Not Ak... Ak... Aprokrovich, whatever. That word... Oh, which by the way, if you're gonna have an exhaust company, don't make it hard to pronounce. <laughs> it's just a dumb idea, you know. Something like Klein, that's easy. Fab Speed, pretty easy. Klein, that's what you said. Oh, were you not? Uh, I'm right next not. to you. Yeah, I was reading. I can't do two things at once. Jeez. Novatech. Novatech. It's pretty good. Yeah, but like Akrapovich or whatever, <laughs> Apokrovich, whatever. Is it Russian? That kind of looks Russian. Maybe. Is that Ron Jeremy? Yeah. It's definitely Ron Jeremy. The, I dude, brought my, him out of jail. My I built him out. looks so full on camera. Mm. Yeah, it's much less impressive in person. Sorry. But on camera, they don't need to know what it looks yeah, like look in at, person. Look at this stash. <laughs> it's awesome. It looks amazing on camera. Uh, John is broke now because <laughs> tried to shame Mousetrap. <laughs> Uh, are you trying? I, I like what you're doing, Mousetrap. Yeah, <laughs> come on, keep it up. You know, if you shame him, and, you know, he, he's gonna have to step it up. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, find me a front and lift reverse camera spider. Hmm, maybe in cocaine white. <laughs> That's gonna be tricky. Yeah. I mean. <sighs> Since we are talking about exhaust, you guys have the inside scoop on LP Gallardo exhaust? I mean, we can get those. Yeah. We have lots of Gallardo exhausts, and yeah. I mean, we we got a ton of stuff. The problem is it's just not on our website at this point. Because like, it takes forever to... We've yeah. been adding stuff the past couple of days, though, so... Yeah, yeah. quite a bit. It's yep. just, it's slow. Like, for us to add a product, it probably takes one to three minutes per product. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> nice. I can still afford to do this. Can you, Mousetrap? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well played, Mousetrap. And thank you, John. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Hell, you can barely find a coupe with lifting cameras, too. That's true. Is The camera and the lift are the two tricky options to get. Like, Really? And you have both of them. I know. You just got lucky? Oh, yeah. Super lucky. That's why when I saw my car, I'm like, I'm going to get it. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah, John is only single-digit sticker money. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Moss traps. They're on shade. Seriously, they're on shade. It is a must-have for me. The lift is really not, I don't think. I mean, Loper survived without a lift, and his is lowered like stupid low. So... <laughs> most, most of Canadian money is that's one hundred dollars. <laughs> oh man, I love it. And spider color doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. Spider, but for sure a spider. I mean, we'll look around. Have you thought about selling aftermarket wheels? We do. We do. We do. Um, we only have HREs listed, and let me tell you the reason is because. I spent an entire day just adding monoblock HRA wheels. It took me that long just to add monoblock to like single piece wheels. And then like a week after I <laughs> added them to the system. This isn't funny, but. <laughs> it is. It is what it isn't. They changed their prices. And it took me an entire day almost. It took me like half a day 
just to update all the prices of the HRE wheels because they have so many different combinations and shit. So I was like, oh my God, I hate wheels. I absolutely hate. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we sell HREs, we sell other wheels, lots of different brands. Hit us up if you need some wheels, we will get you. Should I do HREs on the Vantage? I don't know, I wanna see what those look like. I mean, there's certainly enough HRE different models that you know something probably looks good on it. I'm on 200 Xanax. <laughs> I'm jealous. Uh, I got to be seen while driving this car. We know, Stu. We know. We know. We know. We know. Everybody knows, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. Uh, anyone else drinking wine? Get another glass. I have water. Mm, very good. A lot of it. A mm. big old thing. Was the law for I mind blown in person? No. I mean... It would have been. I've seen quite a few in person now, so it wasn't like that was the first one I've seen in person. It was, was it? cool to see. Yeah, it's I would it, say they're neat mine. to say in, they're neat to see in person. There's a lot of interesting details on them. Yeah, especially like when you see the doors open and you like see how like the cabins kind of like inset. Yeah, you're like whoa, like it's like I mean it's legit like that much inset from the outside of the car. It's kind of like the Ford GT is. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of a smaller cabin. But even the, isn't the P1 and the 918 like that too? The P1, yeah, has a huge door sill. Yeah, I actually got the sit in one. Just sit in it though. Hmm. I've never sat in one. I was a little bit nervous about that. I'm like, I don't know about sitting in a million dollar car. <laughs> and then like, you have to crawl over the raw carbon fiber. Like, yeah. And I'm like, oh shit, man, if I have any like, buttons on my pants or something. I was like, oh man. So, drinking the Miller. Hell yeah. Beer here. What was that first bottle at All Reds that was really good? It is the Tignanello. Antonori Tignanello. It that $300 bottle of wine? It's normally not $300, but at a restaurant. Yeah. I mean, you take whatever price you see in retail and you double it and that's kind of like restaurant prices. So, it's like $150, $140, $150 bottle. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. Serious question, how cool would a California be if it was a coupe and it saved all the weight, 800 pounds maybe from a salvage top car? I mean, the, I don't know. That's an interesting question because there's no way that roof weighs 800 pounds. Mm, I mean, it's got to be at least 300. Yeah, but... I don't know about 800. Yeah, 800, that's a lot. Yeah. Damn. Mousetrap and John are just like... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up, both of you. No, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I mean, that's kind of... It's like the Roma is kind of like a California chassis in a better body, right? And two-seater. Um, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. It would be interesting to see if you could convert a California... Remove all. Gabe already crap. found one for Stu. Oh, nice. <laughs> really? 175? Is it a spider though? He only drives spiders because he needs to. Yeah, be seen. it can't be a spider, not for one seventy-five. It's hard enough to afford a four eight. It is inconceivable for me to figure out how to step up to the next level, like a four eighty-eight, F eight, eight twelve, F twelve. Inconceivable. What's the next level? Spider? Really? really? What's wrong with it, dude? Send a link. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. No camera or lift, though, I don't think. I mean, you can add a camera with one of those license plate cameras. It's probably not as awesome, but... It can be done. For 175 Shit. I might... That would probably be... That's an interesting little... Uh, yeah, I know. Emoticon or whatever. A little play button. Yeah. I don't even know how you do that. Nifty. Probably in the, like, the buttons thing. Like. Can you send a, a link, Gabe, so we can all look at oh, it together? Look. There they are. I will send one, too. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, better than nothing, yeah. For free, it's not dropping in northeast. They're starting to drop kind of slowly over, like, nationwide and stuff, but it's still, they're still pricey. Oh, now everyone. Oh, look at the other. Jeez, what have we done? Look what, what you've started. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. It's like talking about that one thing that we will not talk about that's over there. That thing. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, we won't talk about that. What did, like... Oh, there, there's more I... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, look, look at all these, look oh, all these emoticons. God. Oh, no. There's no, so many. Don't go there. Don't go there. It's just going to cause a huge shitstorm. It's going to be really bad. Hmm. What? Hmm. The judge is here. The judge is here. What's up, judge? How are you doing? <laughs> Glad for him to stop by. No, where's my favorite is to do this. Oh, God. <laughs> With like a... <laughs> where's Tim to say, what are you pointing at? No. No one's here to tell you what's pointing. Even Mo. Mo's not even up here tonight. Man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's that's good. That's good. That's good, Adam. I, oh, I'm such a child. Yeah, well done. Oh God. I feel like tonight's just gonna be one of those nights. Just like it's just like oh God. Why did we even do this tonight? I've made him face palm. I'm getting pretty good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you. I'm the funniest person I know. I'll tell you what. Tell you what, so today was one of those days that's just like depressing because like the camera breaking, finding out that the camera broke by having an entire day's worth of work get, you know, canned basically. It's like uh, totally unusable. It's like, man, what? What do you do? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, why did you, why did you delete Stu's post? Okay, that's why. Totally acceptable. I was like, Stu, why did you delete Stu's post? Okay. Well, that's slide. Yeah, no talking about that thing. We do not talk about that thing. I will time you out, Stu. Yeah, don't make us go there. We got like buttons. We can do things to you. Jeez. Yeah. But yeah, the camera broke, lost the tire's day's worth of stuff. It's kind of frustrating. Yeah. It's one of those the days. The glamorous world of YouTube. Right, right. But we got wine. And water. Wine. What was a forfeit speciality costing three years ago when you made that awesome video? I mean, I think the cheapest I've ever seen a speciality was like... Right at like the 275 mark. It's like, damn, man. If I had had the money, <laughs> probably worth like a half a million right now. It's like, dang it. That would have been awesome. Oh, well. What can you do? Yeah. Can't predict the future. <laughs> if you could, it would be a Back to the Future movie. Mm. And tonight we're drinking. Toscana. Santa Crista. Uh, Santa Cristina. Jeez, I'm pronouncing it wrong for like a m long time. <laughs> anyway. Seeing I'm at a half mil now. Yeah, yep. that's about right. Whoop. Didn't spill. All good. <laughs> uh, have you ever checked in your old F430? Yeah. We know who has it. I know one. who owns it. Yeah. Actually, I, I talked to both that one and the one that we flipped. I talked to that guy too. So yes, Porsche GTC were going for two fifty for a while. Jeez. Wow, really? God, <laughs> I remember like back in the day when I had absolutely no money. I remember seeing the old like two thousand five, two thousand six Ford GTS. Going for like 75 grand. I know, it's like, dang it! It's a shame that the new ones will never be ever be that cheap because the new ones, I think, look amazing. They're all like a million. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I wouldn't want one of the new ones. They look great, but I hate the sound and the interior is so crammed. I mean, it's a proper race car. Like, yeah, it's, it's a race car. It's, it's, not, a, a it's race not a street car. car. Adam, where is your alcohol glass? You know, he doesn't really drink. Where you do use uh, turn 17 on the inside of the track. So at the Texas Mall. Jesus, SF90 hit $950,000 today. Good Lord. <laughs> Adam Flesh got drink. 
bro. What's I don't know. Okay, how got drunk are you, Rachel? Rachel, jeez. I know. She's slurring. that? She's, she's slurring she's like, her typing oops. over there. <laughs> I didn't make any sense on that one. I'm going to delete it real quick. Why are people texting me? God, don't they know I'm live? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> All right. Mute. Mint doesn't drink. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm i not against drinking. I've drank a lot in my life, oh, but yeah. I just, eh, anymore. Hope you guys are rooting for Max Verstappen on the 24th. Eh, I got nothing against him. Yeah. Not drunk, new phone. Oh, that's acceptable. <laughs> My auto isn't feeling me yet. It takes a while. You gotta trade it. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> sorry. Meg uh, is uh, taking care of Ash. Yeah, Meg is downstairs taking care of Ash. Nope. Leclerc. <laughs> Leclerc. Whatever. I don't care about F1. I, that's the funny thing, right? Just don't, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's there's better racing out there. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. Like, I will watch it when it's on. Like if I like, mm. for example, if we're going somewhere and the race is on, like when we went to Colorado. Yeah. In the race, yeah, everyone wanted to watch the race. Okay, cool. I'm going to watch that it. That was a really great race, <laughs> That was race a great race, too. actually. Yeah. yeah, that was an excellent race. But, like, I'm not going to pay for, like, the TV for it. Oh, or... I watch everything. But I'll go to here in Austin because it's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this year. Well, and in person, it's like an experience. It is. You go out there it with is. friends and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you hang out. You get, you get yeah. totally blotto. It's like going to a baseball game. Like, I'm not a huge baseball fan, but you yeah. go to a game with friends or whatever. It's great. Mm -hmm. Anyone else there going on, going to F1 in Austin next weekend? I'm curious. We got... So, my buddy Pietro, who's Italian AF, <laughs> bought 10 tickets, and he, quote, it's going to be a bunch of guidos. Oh! oh Mousetrap in the house. Oh, he figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mousetrap. Damn. He just threw down a gauntlet. And look at... Oh, no, it's Canadian. <laughs> I was going to say, he stepped it up. <laughs> Have you seen uh, Pablo Escobar's Porsche RS Art, actually? No. I saw that. I really? did see it. Yeah, yeah. How much what? was that going for? Oh, it was... I think it was over a million. Jeez. It was like 1.2 last time I looked or something. You're flying to Austin for the race? Can't wait? Great season. Hell yeah. Yeah. I should host, maybe I should host like a little uh, get together or something. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Should I host like a normal guy super idiots meetup? <laughs> you know, like during F1, maybe on like Saturday night or something, like we could find a place to meet up. That would be cool. Yeah, Stu's coming, Richard's coming, Pietro, and like his Guido family is coming. So it's gonna be awesome. And I'm using his words, okay? He's like, we're going to hang out with a bunch of guidos and get drunk. It's awesome. I'm like, yes. That sounds good. Yes, host something. I'll come. <laughs> Maybe we should do something. I don't know. I have to figure out where. So Pietro's flying in Thursday. And then Friday, I told him I would take him out on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> on what day? Friday. Oh, Friday. Yeah, because like his family doesn't fly until late, or you know his buddies and family or whatever don't fly until late Friday, so um, you can always buy F one tickets on like Craigslist and and something else. The, actually, that's usually how I, I've never bought them directly. I always buy them secondhand. You fly in Thursday morning, and be there until Monday evening. I mean, if you want to go on the boat. <laughs> I'm just saying, Friday, we're probably going to go on the boat. Are you going to pick up Des and I, Dan? No, but if you come to my house, you can ride with us. <laughs> I'm not going to drive all the way down there just to drive all the way back up to F1. Thanks again for the F1 plug. Oh, yeah. Hey. Is that one of the people He's, that bought the tickets? Yeah, he bought the tickets today. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. It's going to be fun to see you. Yeah. No, no. Th that's the thing, though. Like, you can find F1 tickets that are not that expensive. You're going to take the chopper. <laughs> sure you are, Gabe. Sure you are. Parking does suck. Parking is a pain in the ass. And it takes forever. You just got to accept it. Just deal with it, you know. Whatever. 
I get paid in <laughs> Canadian money, so I mean, yeah, you know. Hey, do you guys ever find like an American nickel in your change? <laughs> living, what? That's a serious question. Living in Michigan, you know, like half your change would be in Canadian. <laughs> and then of course, like you go to like a, a vending machine and it wouldn't take it. You're like, what the hell? And I was like, oh, it's a Damn it, it's a Canadian quarter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, do you ever get... Uh, so, about the 996 Turbo, what days are you going to be here? Because I'm working the race, so I'm actually camping on site. I won't have the car with me. It will be at home. But, like, depending on when you're coming in or when you're leaving, maybe before or after, I can meet up with you guys. Uh, and I would have the car with me then. Yeah. Yes, we do get them, but the bank don't care. <laughs> hey, as long as the bank doesn't care. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, that, maybe we should do that. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Have a little F1 shindig thing. If it was Saturday night, I would come. Yeah, I'm it thinking would... Saturday night would be ideal because, like, Friday night, half the people aren't even in town yet. Yeah. Or they're just getting into town. and then I'll be in the a truck, but I'll come. Yeah. Oh, I mean... You know, no big deal there. Well, I'm saying if people wanted to see the the turbo, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, problem is like finding a place to meet if we're gonna have like multiple people because like we can't obviously do it here. Yeah. Um, no. And the problem is a lot of the venues are gonna be packed. Well, that's when you would do do something in Buda. Buda. There's. It's not gonna be as packed. I was thinking more like North Austin. Oh. Because convenient for me i'm selfish <laughs> you're gonna make everybody drive the north austin for you yes if you want to come hang out you're gonna have to pay yes. <laughs> you're such a terrible person what <laughs> hey i'm busy is the billy joel concert coded during the night no it's uh at i want to say it starts at like 7 or seven thirty, something like that hmm. I can't remember for sure what time. Wait, you're in Austin now? I thought you didn't live here in Austin. When did... Because, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but back when uh, we did the influencer invasion, I thought you lived... But that was, like, three years ago. Yeah, I, well, I know, but... A maybe... lot can happen in three years, Dan. Yeah, I, I'm aware <laughs> of that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'll drive to North Austin. Just say when. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking Saturday night, we'll find a place, maybe. You're already in Austin? No. Oh. You live here, or did you just get your weekends wrong for the race? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, I swear, didn't you drive into town for that? I'm going to think of something else. I could be wrong, because, like, you know, a lot <laughs> <laughs> a lot happened in three years, man. Both of you. <laughs> both of you, both of you oh, can, I love it. Both of you can eat a dick. <laughs> Come to Butte and have it at Willie's place. Plenty of parking, food, living. Do you understand it? That's like 40 minutes from my house. Here's Wee. the problem. I want to get drunk. <laughs> if I'm going to get drunk, I can't be 40 minutes from my house. If you're getting drunk, you can't drive four minutes from your house. Yeah. So? So? Ish. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, time, man. Look at the watch. Do you see a watch? <laughs> Do you think I can afford a watch? <laughs> the coolest thing I ever saw was a license plate in the shape of a polar bear. From one of our territories, Northwest, Ter Northwest Territories. I swear it was fake until I looked it up. That actually sounds pretty badass. I mean, like the license plate, like the like metal shape, is cut, or is it like a picture? So, Canadian two coins are in Canada because they are worth the same as U.S. quarter. Oh, mm -hmm. Dan Drunk cannot get us out of cul-de-sac. I mean, that's the problem, right? Like, to really have fun, we'd have to somehow end up here. Or somewhere. <laughs> or with Ubers. Meg will pick up Dan four minutes away. Oh yeah, 40 minutes? Hell no. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> four minutes? More likely. That or I can bribe someone to drive me home. Be like, yo, drive me home. <laughs> of course then I can't, you know, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Ferrari owner can't own a Ferrari watch. Shaking my head. 
Yeah, you know, I actually, actually, I do have one. <laughs> yeah, but it was gifted to me. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> buy it. And yeah, dude, like you, you've seen my channel. You know, like we're not living high in the hog here. We did a video about that today. Yeah, right? about how poor we all are. Yeah, it's, it's kind of depressing. Uh, <laughs> coolest license plate I ever saw was a Medal of Honor plate. That is a pretty badass plate. That's a very rare that's a, plate that's because a well there's not a whole lot of. Yeah, there's haven't been very many that have been awarded to a live person. Most of them are post posthumously. Posthumously, that's yeah. yeah. Even with the wine, I can get that word, but I can't get. <laughs> Akropovich or Akropovich. <laughs> well, that's because we don't know, know how it is even supposed to be said. Meg with the Ram will get Dan in the box and take uh, take the long out road due to her. Yeah, you know. No, she would not. She hates that thing. She hates driving it. So, I don't wear a watch. I have a phone for that. Exactly. I don't. I hate watches. I never. You have to accessorize, Daniel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, 90 living, 90 currently living Medal of Honor winners. Yeah, that's... Really? That many? I would have guessed it was single digits, honestly. It's pretty... I mean, to see or meet it, it's like meeting a Medal of Honor recipient would be pretty incredible. No, yeah, absolutely. I would have seriously guessed it was single digits. Yeah. Dan should be wearing a Rolex Daytona. I don't even know what that is. So... I know it's a Rolex. Yeah. And I know it's a watch. Yeah. Well, that's like their... It's like a model of watch. I, I, yeah, oh, I got that. Okay. I don't know anything about the model, though. Yeah. Neither is it good or bad? Is that like the... Well, it's a Rolex, so I'm pretty sure it, it's at least Yeah, but good. like, is that like the entry-level Rolex, or is it like the ultra, you know, crazy shit? So, I didn't know this, but I have a friend who's really into watches. Rolexes really aren't like... No, no, they're not the, like, creme de no. creme. No. Like, there's watches that are, oh, yeah. like, half a million dollars for a watch. Mm -hmm. Rolex is just kind of one of those names. Like, it's just got the I name a, recognition. So, obviously, being that we're in the Ferrari world, we meet lots of people who are into watches. And yeah. I've had lots of people who are into watches talk to me. And even lots of guys who are into watches talk to me about business ideas. And one of the things that one of them brought up just blew my mind, which is when these wealthier gentlemen who own crazy watches we're talking like the six dig you know six digit plus mm -hmm. watches and they buy and sell them with each other they ship them to each other but think about that you're shipping like a hundred fifty thousand dollar watch that's completely portable and so like it becomes this huge logistical nightmare and all these problems and they're talking about how it's just like, every once in a while, a watch just goes missing. John's about to get banned. Why? Oh! <laughs> Burn. <laughs> it's all Casio for me. Old school. Hell yeah. I didn't know uh, Blanc Pain, is, I think is how you say it, is a watch brand. Oh. And they make, as my friend put it, they make watches that make Rolexes look like Casios, I think is the exact terminology he used. Because their watches are like a quarter of a million dollars. I have one nice watch. I think, well, actually I have two watches in my possession. One of them is nice. My brother gave it to me for... Shit, why did he give it to me? You should know this. I think it was my birthday. I don't know. He gave it to me. My brother, the only and... thing my brother's ever given me was a card that said F.U. in it. Except he spelled it out, but we're live. But it was very nice. It was, I mean, it's way too nice for me. Like, <laughs> I look at it, I'm like, oh my god, I don't know. Like, I don't want to touch it because I don't want to break it. It's, it's a really nice watch. I, I, like, I just wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to have something that expensive because then you're so worried about breaking it. Yeah, well, and I'm a klutz. Yeah. So oh, a, I break I'm, watch faces all the time because apparently smack it I watch, walk really, really close to walls. Like, apparently that's a thing I do. I don't know. I'm apparently incapable of walking down the middle of a hallway. Oh, here. Yeah, Adam, kick him. Kick the single, <laughs> single digit sticker nerd. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the gauntlet is down. Just to let you know. I'm not going to kick him. We're Funny how him. two Rolex comments got typed the same time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh. It's identical. 
Oh, no, no, no. Gabe said like. You did not. But almost. Gabe said that? Okay, Gabe's getting banned. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought we were friends, Gabe. Keep it up. And you're going to go and say stuff like that? I'm going to buy your kid like a Porsche onesie for Christmas or something. Keep it up, Gabe. Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you again, Mousetrap. Yes. Hey, guys. Great series of videos for the devaluation tour. It looked like a ton of fun. Sort of random question. What do you guys think of the Lotus Elise? I had, had a chance to drive one. It was so much fun. I have yet to drive any Lotus. I haven't driven a Lotus, but I've never heard anybody say they're boring cars to drive. But they scare the crap out of me. Well, that's like, because they are. Like, here's the funny thing. Like, you, everyone jokes about the reliability of Lotus, how it's so bad. But even the owners of Lotuses are like, oh yeah, it is that bad. Like, I've yet to meet a Lotus <laughs> owner who's like, oh no, 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 it's all bullshit. They're actually pretty reliable. No, every single one of them I've met is like, yeah, it's pretty true. Billy, if you're thinking about buying one, just remember that Lotus stands for lots of trouble, usually serious. Just so you know. Yeah. My friend had a lease. But they're, they're a front. ton of fun. Yeah, just expect it to be a project car. I mean, it basically is a project car. They make like 10 of them a year or something like that. <laughs> and, like, and they probably make them in the backyard. Like, like, Carl is in the yeah, shit Carl. up. Hey, hey, Carl, could you finish that car? Car number six. <laughs> no, I'm still working on it. <laughs> Gotta hand bend the metal. <laughs> Don't worry, my Toyota engine though. I'm putting that in there. Oh, good. Yeah, that thing works. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what Lotus says, Billy. Really, you never heard that one? Oh man, I say it all the time. Any I love, chance I get, I still have Fiat. Fiat's my favorite. Fix it again, Tony. Fix it again, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Can you out an AM Vanquish in your driveway for a review? There's a possibility that could happen. Um, Vanquish, yes. We can do a Vanquish. Yeah, that is on the list. Can we TRD Sport Engine the new Lotus? <laughs> it's, it's well, awesome. You, you know that the engine will be fine. It'll just be everything else around everything the around engine. The, yeah, everything <laughs> else around the car is going to fall apart with that engine. 200,000 miles, still ticking. Yeah. It's just in a different car now. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Are the new Astons unreliable, though? We know three people with an Aston now, though, so we'll just have to keep We're you updated. We're going to find out. We'll see. With Daniel Craig. With Daniel Craig. <laughs> that part might be... You'll get me. Slightly more difficult. To, Sorry, uh, Rachel, but it'll be me. Hey! What if I just got a Daniel and not the Craig part? Because <laughs> the owner of the Aston that we know that has a Vanquish, his name is Daniel. <laughs> not so Craig. Thought on the SLS AMG Gullwing for future value? Uh, I don't know enough about them for future value, but I think that they're amazing cars. They sound amazing. They look amazing. I think there's a reasonable chance that people are going to like them. Yeah. Future? Or Daniel future. and a Craig. Yeah. D and F are right next to each other on the keyboard, so I get it. <laughs> or a Daniel and a Craig. Mm, yeah. Well, Rachel, can you handle a Daniel and a Craig? Probably. She probably kicked their asses. Both probably. Yeah. It will go up in value, but every dollar it goes up in value is a dollar you're going to be spending to repairs. <laughs> I don't oh. think AMGs are bad. Uh, certain generations are, hmm. but. I don't know enough to know about the SLS. Hmm. I yeah. didn't think Mercedes were that bad. There are no BMW, that's for sure. Adam Craig will do if you close the lights. <laughs> 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 no. Hey, neither British car broke on the tour. Adam didn't get the trailer, the F-Type, around Colorado. Very true story. That was... <laughs> I, I mean, I will say, like, we had such success with everyone not breaking that I was like... If we do this again, do we need to have the truck and trailer actually follow everyone everywhere? No. Probably not. I, if we do this again, I'm driving my car next year. Yeah, we'd probably just drop off the truck and trailer, but I would bring my toolkit. Yeah. Just because, like, there could be some small tool stuff that you need, but, like, if someone legit broke down... We'll just send somebody to get the truck. Yeah, we'll just have to send someone to get the truck. 
The so. G-Wagon is a disgusting toaster. Completely agree. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You are 100%. spot on. I hate those damn things. They do look like a toaster. There's a ton of them out here, too. I don't get why people like this ugly box design in the 70s. It's horrible. <sighs> what? And they're six-figure cars, and they look like crap. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, you know what? Let me get a car that was designed in 1982 <laughs> by someone who was drunk and looking at a toaster... Want LSD or something. <laughs> tripping balls. They're tripping balls. Like, look, a box. <laughs> Let's put four wheels on it. Ah, it's perfect. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Danny did a great job on Motor Misfit Podcast. Thank you. I th- that was fun. I like doing that sort of stuff. Speaking of braking, does the front of the windshield cost 12K? No, it costs, I think, uh, six or $8,000, but we lost two windshields that day, so... Both those windshields are about six to seven, maybe eight thousand dollars each. That's so insane that it costs that much. That's so stupid. between the two, we definitely lost at least twelve thousand dollars, easily. Um, as soon as, as soon as the other guy gets his windshield fixed, I'll ask him how much he paid for his. But um, as soon as mine's scheduled to get fixed uh, in two weeks, and I'll let you know how much mine costs. And I'll be, yeah, it's going to Ferrari Boston, so we'll see how much that costs. Uh, Last call for questions. Yeah. What I'm doing is just did the front rotors on my 96 Turbo. Going to do the rears tomorrow. Hell yeah. We nice. referenced your video of the 96 brakes. Thank you. You are welcome. That's awesome. Glad to hear that. Glad to see our videos actually were helpful. Yeah. yeah. New Ferrari SUV making its rounds under heavy cover. Ugh. <laughs> kill it. I love how angry that makes you. Oh, God. Kill it. Just please burn it. I hate that thing. Where's the 599? In Waiting on San Antonio. Uh, oh. Was it the same rock? No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dink, dink. Uh, that would have been funny. Would have been sucky. You can always reinforce wind. What ways can you reinforce windshields? There's a product called ExoShield. We tried to put it on my 458 a um, couple years ago. A couple years ago, yeah, when I first got it. And it just, the 458 windshield has multiple angles on it. And so they tried and tried and tried and couldn't get it. And then we contacted the company that makes that stuff. And they're like, oh, yeah, don't do it on a Ferrari 458. Those are way too complicated. So they basically were like, don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Rachel, uh, Ash's first car will be a real car. It will be a Porsche. No, it's going to be like a piece of shit. <laughs> Straight up. He's in, I'm going to give him a shit box. Because I think all all teenagers should drive a shit box. Yeah, it makes them appreciate yeah, stuff later. Yeah, like you, you need a piece of shit that breaks a lot, <laughs> so you have to work on it and work to pay for it. That's my theory on cars. Like, no one should get, like, a nice car when they first turn 16. <laughs> so, all right, last question. Give us one more. I know no. the market's crazy, but what car do you think is undervalued? Currently? That's actually a good question. Undervalued right now. Ah. Uh, I know what car is undervalued, but I almost don't want to say it because I want to buy one. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, don't say that because we have plans for that. Yeah. Sorry. I, I would love to say it, but yeah. Uh, I'm the guy who accidentally ruined the roof of your Corvette and Turo. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've been doing well, and I rented the car for a total of two weeks, and I know it was my friend on the passenger side. <laughs> That was an interesting experience. That experience was uh, kind of the icing on the cake. You were one of the last rentals in that car before we kind of just said, you know what, we're done. <laughs> we're done with Turo. Scout International? Eh, I don't know. I think those might be overpriced. But, yeah. Uh, I feel the older, older Maserati QP are undervalued. People be hating on them. Potentially. Some of the Maserati is definitely I'm undervalued. Not a big Mas- I, okay. But you can get a hell of a car for cheap. Ugly. I'm sorry. I think what? Maseratis are ugly. There. I said it. Get out. <laughs> I said it. Oh Maseratis my god. Maseratis are ugly. What? I said it. Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Maserati <laughs> makes beautiful cars. So here in Florida, we have a windshield replacement law where insurance replaces our windshield. Texas doesn't have an equivalent. No. Texas, it's uh, comprehensive. There's Mo. Yeah, there's the dog. Hello, Mo. Mo made an appearance. He's wiggling. 
I just saw a Mint 86 Scout International. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Mo. Let's let All the right. internet see you. Oh, yeah. There's Mo. Mo, come here. It's like, what? Look. What? There's my dog. <laughs> He's like, I want my bone. Why, why are you teasing me with my bone? <laughs> Mama. He's like, I want it. Are you a good boy? Come here. You good boy? Yeah. Yeah, I was a good boy. You're a good boy. Mo without Otis is just wrong. I mean, <laughs> I actually need to video those two playing and put that in one of my videos because that is hilarious. Especially when... So, like... You, dude, Mo was, like, running full steam ahead the entire length of the house, and Otis was just like, ah, what's he doing? <laughs> it was hilarious. So, come on guys, FF6 speed, please. Nope. We're not gonna do any of the dual clutch cars, except maybe the Lamborghini Huracan, because that's just an R8. So, all the others, don't count on it. So, all right, I think that's a pretty much to do it tonight. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, yeah, we have... Um, actually, we did a lot of 355 work recently. So, yep. got a bunch of 355 videos coming out. <sighs> Hopefully, the 599 video of it driving soon. Hopefully. Free. Um, yeah. I don't know what else we got. Those are two big things we got. What? Oh, it's pointing at Mo. Oh, right on his butt. Like, <laughs> oh, you turn around. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thank you guys for joining us. As always, uh, we got more stuff coming. So. Oh, and hopefully within the next week or two, we'll be able to do the call in with you guys. Yeah, we do want to do that call in yeah, thing. So we haven't forgotten about it. It was just the timing so, with the tour yeah. and everything like oh, yeah. that. So. Any of you that are actually still here, if you want to be a calling guest, okay, calling guest. Dude, our email is about to get. Oh, yeah, shit. Maybe I shouldn't say this. But anyway, <laughs> email us, sales at normalguysupergod.com if you want to be a calling guest. And uh, maybe next week we do that. If not, I'm, I'm guessing kind of next week we'll probably do something about F1. That's true. Oh, yeah, because, okay, so next week I'm going to be at the track. Thursday? Yeah. Oh. Um, so you might be flying. Or maybe I can remote in. We'll see. Hmm. We Maybe, maybe Dan we'll, will be go by. Let's do it at the Howard. Or... I live so close, I could just... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe our next, our guest next week could be my Porsche friend, who will be here. He's going to be in town? Yeah. Oh, cool. So we'll have a, a real car mechanic on. Another one? Yeah. We, sh we should have I'll him, ask and, him. him and uh, Josh fight to death. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Yep. Thank you so much for have watching. Have a good one. Have a good night.